Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about glycerin in skin and hair care. What is this ingredient? What does it do? And how to incorporate it into your skin and or hair care routine. Glycerin is kind of like the less uh, trendy version of hyaluronic acid. It is an ingredient that chances are you are already using in either your skincare and or your hair care products because it is one of the most frequently used ingredients in cosmetic and pharmaceutical manufacturing. Glycerin is a humectant and what that means is it grabs onto water and helps hydrate either the skin or the hair. It can pull water from the atmosphere and in the case of your skin, it can pull it from the deeper layers of your skin to help plump up surface skin cells and hydrate the um, stratum corneum, that dead layer on the top of your skin. And as a result, in the case of skin, it helps to improve moisture retention, skin barrier function, and also can help with smoothing out wrinkles and fine lines just by space filling. And in the case of your hair, it can hold on to hydration in the hair shafts, improving shine, gloss, and manageability, reducing frizz and breakage, making your hair overall more manageable. That is why it is frequently present in conditioners in the case of hair care and also in shampoos. The other nice thing about glycerin in products is that it helps to reduce irritation from other ingredients. So in the case of shampoos, it helps make them less harsh um, and less drying, both for the hair as well as the scalp. And in the case of your skincare, it helps keep the skin barrier hydrated to reduce irritation from ingredients in the product. And it's moisturizing. And whenever the skin is moisturized, it's more receptive to ingredients. Ingredients will be taken up into the skin better when it's moisturized and hydrated. Glycerin has a molecular weight of 92 grams per mole. What the heck does that mean? Basically, it's small enough to get into our skin and get between skin cells and get within our hair shaft to really work to hydrate things up as opposed to just sitting on the surface. Uh, and not doing not doing those things. So it gets in, it trickles in between cells and really plumps things up with hydration. Glycerin is also naturally present in our body. And in the case of products and pharmaceuticals, glycerin is going to be derived from vegetables. So it's a vegan ingredient. Glycerin is the backbone of lipids that are present and make up our skin barrier. And so it's not something that is going to cause allergy really or irritation. Although that being said, any ingredient can cause problems for people. But generally speaking, glycerin is pretty inert and safe to use. Not only can glycerin in products help with skin hydration and reducing irritation and dryness, but it also can help in improving skin elasticity just by making the overall barrier more fluid and hydrated and more functional. While glycerin is wonderful and present in skincare products and hair care products, you know, all over the place, there's really no need to seek it out, which is good. Like you don't need a separate product. You don't need to go on the hunt for it, etc. I mean, just like open up your medicine cabinet and it's probably in there, but people are going to be intrigued by this ingredient as something for DIY skincare. And as, as always, I kind of, you know, caution you against the DIY approach. First of all, if you just put straight glycerin on your skin, while it holds water and pulls water from the from the air and the deeper layers of your skin to hydrate things up if there's no corresponding occlusive ingredient to seal all that in you actually can end up uh, losing more water out of your skin because the glycerin will hold it there in place for a bit and then it'll just evaporate and as it evaporates it ends up pulling out more moisture same thing with your hair it can end up just making your hair more dry and actually it in the if you have more of a if you have more of a uh, curly hair or textured hair or coarser hair type that actually can over hydrate your hair too much and make it kind of prone to breakage in other words so it's not something that I really recommend people just go putting either on their skin directly or their hair or their scalp because because of that it's also really sticky so it's hard to work with I purposely purchased this Sky Organics organic vegetable glycerin on iHerb 
very inexpensive but i wanted to show you guys oops <laughs> how sticky it is it comes out as a clear viscous liquid and i mean it's just it's like almost kind of the consistency of honey um and when you put it on the skin like that just plain it can actually <laughs> even though I just did it, can end up being more irritating by drawing out uh, water from the skin. So I really don't recommend putting it directly on your skin. Now, formulating your own skincare products with it, like say you wanted to mix it with an occlusive ingredient like shea butter um, to help hold in hydration, I think it can be very difficult. And I actually recommend just leaving that up to the cosmetic chemist rather than trying to do it yourself because I would just worry that you would get a lot of irritation. Same thing with your hair care. You know, it's really popular in skincare marketing to tell you that you can just add a few drops of things and mix things up. But in reality, formulating products is actually quite tricky and say, for example, you end up adding a few drops of glycerin to your moisturizer or to your shampoo or conditioner, does it actually end up dispersing throughout the product evenly so that you get that in, you know, when you apply it, as opposed to maybe it just settles to the bottom. So when you hit at the bottom, you have this big glob of glycerin and it's irritating. I don't know. And I, you know, I'm not a cosmetic chemist. I would leave it up to them. For the most part, I think, although I'm, again, I'm not a cosmetic chemist, I think glycerin is typically, usually at a concentration of about 10% in products, just by where it tends to appear on the ingredient list. It's usually, you know, third on the ingredient list. Um, so there's water in there first. Sometimes there's petrolatum first. I mean, it's clear to me just by looking at ingredients that it's not so much of just mixing them together. You kind of want the right proportions. And I honestly don't know how to do that. Um, again, I would leave it up to, I would leave it up to the cosmetic chemists. Products though that I love that have glycerin in them are um, the CeraVe products. Uh, CeraVe moisturizing cream has glycerin. Um, Aveeno colloidal oatmeal, um, their eczema therapy itch relief balm, fantastic, that has glycerin. Um, so it's a, you know, chances are if you go into your, if you go into your medicine cabinet or, you know, your skincare cabinet, <laughs> uh, it's in there. Same thing with your hair care. Uh, I think they probably include more of it maybe in more hydrating shampoos, but I don't know. Yeah, and you know, with shampoo and conditioner, I mean, that formulation is even more nuanced because there you're also dealing with balancing pH to cleanse the scalp, but not damage the hair shaft. So I don't really see how you could easily DIY glycerin in your, in your um, shampoos and stuff. I suppose if you wanted to try mixing it I mean, even if you mix the glycerin, just say just like a few drops with some coconut oil and put it on your hair as a mask before you got into the shower. Because remember, coconut oil helps reduce hygral fatigue. It's really good for the hair. Um, and I often recommend people to consider, who wanna try it, to consider putting like coconut oil or jojoba oil on the hair before they get in the shower to reduce hygral fatigue. It's very moisturizing. But I would worry that if you just put a few drops of glycerin like in coconut oil, oil or jojoba oil, that it really wouldn't mix properly. Um, so I say just stick to products. I mean, it's too complicated to figure out and the work has already been done for you. And so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. What am I supposed to do with this? I had to have it, this um, Sky Organics Organic Vegetable Glycerin. Lotion, soaps. People do make soaps as a craft, little hand soaps. I, you know, that's fine. That's what I can tell you guys about glycerin. It is a wonderful ingredient. I've gotten a lot of requests to chat more about it. Um, but yeah, I would leave it up to the professionals and formulating products for your skin and hair with it. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.